Welcome to the Build Your Reiki Business Podcast. I'm Christian of Standing Stones Healing, founder of the Reiki Business Collective and creator of the Build Your Reiki Business Program, sending blessings and best wishes to your Reiki business. Greetings, welcome, and thanks so much for tuning in to this episode of the Build Your Reiki Business Podcast. It's Christian of Standing Stones Healing, so honored and grateful to have you here, so thank you so very much. In this week's episode, we're talking about the Reiki Rays Healing Summit. I'm taking you behind the scenes of this number one global Reiki event event held in November. I'm very excited about it. But first, I do want to mention that also in November is the Reiki Business Summit. In case you haven't heard, this exciting live four-day event is happening November 22nd through the 25th. So please do learn more at standingstoneshealing.com slash summit. The link is down below below and save your seat before it's too late. So the Reiki Rays Healing Summit happens every November. It's been going on for the past several years. And this summit is put on by Reiki Rays. Reiki Rays, you may have heard of them. They are uh, a big Reiki organization. And when I say organization, I mean their main function is to put out information on Reiki. So on their website, Reiki Rays, they have all kinds of Reiki information, lots of articles by all kinds of Reiki leaders. They have lots of brochures and information for download, ebooks on all kinds of Reiki topics. And so Reiki Rays puts out a lot of Reiki information. They really take the cake when it comes to uh, the amount of information that they have on Reiki. Reiki Rays also sends out emails uh, and they do a lot of discounts. So they partner with a lot of Reiki practitioners and Reiki organizations to offer discounts on classes and products and other things. So if you are on their mailing list, you will frequently get emails from Reiki Rays with discounts. Uh, They do a lot of affiliate marketing. I'll talk more about that in a moment. But the summit is something that Reiki Rays does that um, is a really a great service to our community. And like I said, it is the number one global Reiki event, or at least I believe that it's the number one global Reiki event. And the reason that I believe that is that Reiki Rays brings together more than 30 Reiki leaders speaking on all kinds of Reiki topics in a multi-day event. So this is a big event and it really does have something for everyone, no matter where they are on their Reiki journey. So whether you are just curious about Reiki to practitioners with many years of experience, indeed, the Reiki Rays Healing Summit has something for everyone. Now, I've been a big believer in this summit for years, and I uh, really encourage everyone, no matter where we are on our Reiki journey, to tune into the summit because there's a lot of information, a lot of uh, growth and uh, learning that takes place through the summit. So I highly, highly recommend it. Now, the format of the summit is that it is pre-recorded interviews. So How it works is that the summit has a couple of hosts. Last year and this year, it's Yolanda Williams and Heather McCutcheon, who are incredible Reiki leaders in their own right. 
And uh, previous summit hosts have been Andrea Kennedy, Karen Kag, um, and other Reiki leaders who set up interviews with other Reiki leaders about different topics of interest in the Reiki community. And these topics of interest are very wide ranging. So they range from teaching Reiki to Reiki techniques, to learning about the symbols, to the history of Reiki, to Reiki business topics, and on and on and on. You can see why this summit might appeal to anyone at any point on their Reiki journey, (laughs) because truly the list of topics is endless and wide-ranging. And so the hosts then uh, interview, have discussions with the presenters on their topics and record those interviews. The interviews are then uh, released over the course of the several days of the summit. And so a batch of recordings are released on each day that you can tune into. So the summit is completely pre-recorded. Nothing is done live. Everything is pre-recorded. And um, you are able to tune into them when you want at your own pace. But there is a but. They are released on specific days And you're only able to tune in for, I believe it's 48 hours. So you get a limited amount of time to tune into each recording. That is if you are tuning in for free. Yes, the Reiki Ray Summit is completely free, which is pretty freaking amazing. There is all of this Reiki knowledge and information available for free. So Reiki Rays is doing an incredible service to our community with this summit. So can you see why I'm such a big fan of it and why I encourage everyone to register for and tune into the summit? because it is an amazing service to our community. But if you do go for the paid option, you do get all of the recordings with lifetime access plus additional bonuses. And so it is not very expensive for all of the recordings and lifetime access to all of the recordings. So you don't have to worry about trying to cram in all of the incredible discussions into that short window of opportunity when you register for free. When you go with the paid version, you get lifetime access to all of the recordings. And believe me, there's so much great stuff that you're going to want to tune in multiple times to each discussion. Now, here's how I got involved with the summit. This year, I am a speaker on the summit. And this year, I am talking about my new book, Reiki Business Ready, Six Ways to Know You Are Ready for a Reiki Business. And Heather McCutcheon and I are talking about Reiki Business Ready. We had a great discussion, and um, I'm super excited for you to tune into it. But how I got involved in the summit is that first, I started promoting the summit in my groups, for instance, the Reiki Learning Group. I started talking about it and promoting it. Now, the Reiki Learning Group is a no promotions group, but the one thing that I promoted in the Reiki Learning Group was the Reiki Rays Healing Summit. So I was, am, and was, and am such a believer in this summit that in the Reiki Learning Group, I didn't even promote my own things. So my own sessions, my own classes, I wasn't promoting, but I promoted the Reiki Rays Healing Summit. (laughs) That's how much of a believer I am in this summit. I was promoting it 
in my Reiki learning group and not promoting my own things. So in that no promotions group, the Reiki Rays Healing Summit was the one thing that I said it was okay to promote. Because remember, I believe it is the number one global Reiki event. And so I started promoting this and letting the group members know about this so that they could sign up and participate in the summit. And I was doing this simply because I was a firm believer in this event. But after I was promoting the summit, I got to thinking, you know, I should probably be an affiliate for the summit. Here I am promoting, and I'm promoting the summit because I believe in it and because it's such an awesome event that I thought started to think, you know, I should probably be an affiliate of the summit since I'm promoting it. Now, Reiki Rays does offer the ability to be an affiliate. An affiliate is when you promote someone else's stuff and you get credit for that, or you get a percentage of what someone purchases the product for. So as an affiliate of the Reiki Rays Summit, if you are an affiliate, you get your own special code. This is typically the way that an affiliate arrangement works. You promote someone else's product. You have a special link or code that someone can use to purchase that product. And when they purchase that product, you get a percentage of that purchase. This varies depending upon the affiliate agreement. It varies uh, depending upon the arrangement, but a typical affiliate percentage amount is 30%. That's very common and very typical. Anything less than 30% is not that great. Um, I've seen like 10%. That's really not that great. Um, again, though, it depends upon the product. If you are promoting an affiliate product worth thousands of dollars, then maybe 10% isn't so bad. Um, but uh, anything higher than 30% is pretty great. And so the way that the Reiki Rays affiliate program works is that as an affiliate, I get a special link and I can share that link for people to learn about the summit and sign up for it. When you sign up on my affiliate link, I get credit for your registration. So in other words, Reiki Rays knows that I sent you. If you end up purchasing the uh, package with lifetime access and the other bonuses, I end up getting half of that amount, so 50%. Now, Reiki Rays is really generous with its affiliate amount. I will be completely bold-faced honest and tell you that doesn't matter to me in my Reiki business. Yes, it's very generous. Thank you, Reiki Rays. But I signed up as an affiliate with Reiki Rays so that I could know how many people were signing up with my promotion of the event. I wanted to be a Reiki Rays affiliate so that I could say to Reiki Rays, hey, Reiki Rays, how many people signed up through my link because this was information that I wanted to know. I wanted to know how much reach my efforts were having, how many of my group members were signing up, how many of my um, email list members were signing up for the event. So I wanted to know what kind of reach my promotional efforts were having. So I would have been promoting the Reiki Race Summit without the affiliate link, I already was. But once I became an affiliate, then I could know how many people were signing up, how many people I was helping to learn about this amazing summit and get them signed up for it. 
yes, it was an added bonus when some of those registrations signed up and paid for the paid package. Yes, I got 50% of that. Thank you, Reiki Rays. That's very generous. But what really mattered to me was having an idea of how many people I was helping to learn about this amazing summit. And so that meant that I could then go to Reiki Rays and I found out in my first year of helping to promote the summit, I was able to help more than 200 Reiki practitioners sign up for the summit. So that was pretty awesome. Now, one of the reasons I also signed up as an affiliate with Reiki Rays is that I knew that at some point I would really love to be on the Reiki Ray Summit. I knew years ago that at some point I wanted to be a speaker on the summit. And I knew that helping to promote the event and being an engaged affiliate would help to show Reiki Rays that I'm invested in the summit. Because even if I'm not speaking at the summit, I'm going to promote the summit. I believe in the Reiki Ray Summit. And so being an affiliate means that I'm invested in the summit and in the promotion of the summit. So here's how I became an affiliate. I went to Reiki Rays and Reiki Rays is really great. They make it very clear on their website how you can get involved with them and be an affiliate. And so I went to Reiki Rays and I said, Reiki Rays, I would like to be an affiliate for the summit. I have this many people in the Reiki learning group. I have this many people in the Reiki business collective. I have this many people on my mailing list. When you add those all together, it's thousands and thousands and thousands of people. And so um, Reiki Rays, I don't know, honestly, if they have any kind of numbers as uh, a threshold for taking someone on as an affiliate. I don't know if they accept whomever as an affiliate. I don't know, but I do know that I wanted to go to them with the proof that I had the reach to be able to help promote their event in order to be an effective affiliate. And so um, I was able to be an affiliate and to find out then that I helped hundreds of people to sign up for the event. Now, this year, I am presenting on the Reiki Ray Summit. It's my first year presenting for the summit, certainly not my last. Here's how I got involved in being a summit guest. I reached out to Reiki Rays, and I said, Reiki Rays, I love the summit. I'm an affiliate of the summit. I've been an affiliate of the summit. And I would love to participate in the summit as well. And I let them know the kind of topics that I could speak on. So I gave them a few ideas with a real interest in talking about a Reiki business topic, specifically on Reiki business, because it's what the focus of my Reiki business is my Reiki practice at this time. And it's where I have uh, the most information and the most participation in the Reiki community at this time. It's really the area where I am at this point on my Reiki business able to help Reiki practitioners the most. So I reached out to my contact at Reiki Rays, Maria, who, by the way, is amazing. Um, if you are on the Reiki Rays email list, Maria is the name at the bottom of the emails, and Maria is a beautiful person. 
She is kind and sweet and uh, just really good. So I have to give a big shout out to Maria. Maria is also very much a behind the scenes kind of person. So um, I mentioned Maria. I gave a special thank you to her in my interview with uh, Heather McCutcheon. And of course, Maria cut that out. <laughs> But I reached out and said, you know, I'd really like to focus on some kind of Reiki business topic. And Maria reached back out and said, I've had quite a few people who want to talk about Reiki business stuff. She said, but I want you to talk about Reiki business things. Now, why did she say this? She said this because, of course, she wants to make sure that anyone who wants to speak at the summit is a good fit for the summit. And she wants to make sure that anyone who speaks at the summit knows what they're talking about. And so I'm positive that what she did is that she went and looked at my stuff and she said, okay, Christian wants to talk about Reiki business. Does Christian know anything about Reiki business? Is he reputable on this topic? Because we have to make sure to preserve the reputation of the summit, right? Yes, of course. And so I'm sure that she looked, okay, what information does Christian have out there about Reiki business? So of course there's the podcast, the YouTube videos, the Reiki business collective. There's all of the articles on my website. There's just so much information out there that I have put out about Reiki business, not to mention all of my courses on Reiki business. And so I'm positive that Maria said to me, I want you to talk about Reiki business because I have put out so much about Reiki business because I've already shown that I have the knowledge to talk about this topic. I've already put out the content on it. And so I'm not just some guy saying, oh, I want to talk about this thing that I have an interest in. I'm this guy saying, I want to talk about this thing that I already talk a heck of a lot about. And so if you at some point are interested in being a guest on Reiki Rays, I highly recommend starting now. Now, of course, I didn't start all of the Reiki business content with the idea that, hmm, someday I'm going to talk on Reiki Rays about Reiki business. (laughs) But it would actually be a pretty good tactic that if you at some point would like to talk on Reiki Rays about a specific topic, to start putting out content on that topic right now. And to start building up the credibility on that topic so that you can go to Reiki Rays and say, hey, I'm knowledgeable on this topic and I'd like to speak about it. And then they'll look up and find out all the proof for themselves. So on this year's summit, I indeed am talking about the Reiki Business Ready book, my new book. I'm excited to talk about it. I had a great chat with Heather McCutcheon. And if you don't know Heather McCutcheon, she is the founder of the Reiki Brigade, which is pretty amazing. They are based in Chicago. They go out and offer Reiki at hospitals and to firefighters and police officers. They do pop-up community events. Um, It's very inspiring work that the Reiki Brigade is doing, so I recommend checking them out. I'll drop their link down below so you can learn more about them. Um, But Heather is one of the interviewers, as is Yolanda Williams of Reiki Radio. Yolanda, who is just amazing for um, the longevity that she has. Yolanda has done such amazing work for our Reiki community. And she is has been around for years with her Reiki radio podcast, really like the first Reiki podcast. So thank you, Yolanda, for being a real trailblazer. Um, but the two of them are conducting the interviews. 
Again, they're pre-recorded. The interviews are conducted in the summer. So like June is the main time when the interviews are conducted. And then uh, the interviews are sent to Reiki Rays. They do their editing magic. I'll be honest, they edited mine. Um, As you know from listening to the podcast, I can be long-winded and I have a lot to say. (laughs) And Reiki Rays likes to keep the uh, discussion discussions a little shorter. But don't worry, you don't miss anything. And if you feel like you missed out on anything in the discussion, just buy the Reiki Business Ready book. Um, But I'll drop the link down below where you can learn more and sign up for the summit. Yes, it is the affiliate link. Yes, Reiki Rays will know that I sent you if you sign up on that link. And yes, indeed, I am excited to uh, participate. One last thing I want to say about the Reiki Ray Summit and one last uh, piece of encouragement for you. If you ever want to be on the Reiki Ray Summit or if you are ever a guest on any kind of podcast or summit, and that is the special gift. Reiki Rays likes for its uh, presenters to offer a special gift to its audience. And this is really actually just a good thing to do, whether you are on a podcast or uh, some other kind of event or summit, showing up with a special gift is always a good practice. Now, this special gift, Reiki Rays is very open about what this can be. This can be a discount on a course or um, a service, you know, discount on a session with you. And it can also be something free. I will tell you that I recommend going with something free. Here's why. When we are a guest on the Reiki Ray Summit or a podcast, we are getting access to new people who wouldn't already know about us and wouldn't already have heard about us. We're getting access to a new audience. And when we do that, there's a very small fraction of that audience that is going to take action on your special gift. So if you're offering like 50% off of your course or a session with you, there's a very small number of people who are going to take action on that. But when we offer a free gift, that number increases and you have a greater chance of bringing more new people into your audience. And so that means that my special gift for the Reiki Ray Summit is an excerpt from Reiki Business Ready and a recording of affirmations based on the book And it's another special surprise gift as well. And so I'm giving this away rather than something like a discount on the book because more people are going to go for that free offer than who are going to select the paid offer. And so you're therefore able to bring more people into your world. You're able to bring more people into your audience with a free offer than with a paid offer. And so when you appear on summits or podcasts or any other speaking engagement, showing up with a free gift is always a good idea. Now, here's how I did this for the Reiki Race Summit and how I encourage you to consider doing it for your appearances. I created a special link specifically for Reiki Rays visitors. That means I can track the number of people. I know the number who come to the website. I don't know individual people. Of course, my analytics doesn't show me that. But I can see the number of people who uh, visit the website 
And then I can see from there the number of people who sign up. So I can get those conversion analytics and it can help me to see how many people are showing up from the summit recording to the special website and then how many people are signing up based on the number of people who show up to the website and who are getting the free bonus that is special specifically for the Reiki race community. And so with all of that specificity, yes, it is more work. Yes, it does take more time, but that allows me to get an idea of the kind of reach that my appearance is going to have. So it's very beneficial to do something like this. Do I do this for every single podcast or appearance? No, I don't. Um, But for something like the Reiki Ray Summit, yes, indeed, I do. I also want to invite you to please join us in the Reiki Learning Group. In the Reiki Learning Group, we are going to have discussions focused each day on the Reiki Race Summit. And so one of the flaws of the Reiki Race Summit, for as amazing as it is, is that there's no way to connect with Others who are tuning in to the summit and having discussions about the summit with. So you might watch an awesome talk and think, oh, I'd love to talk about that. But who are you going to talk to about it with? Well, join us in the Reiki Learning Group because in that group, we will be having discussions on all of the talks every day of the summit. You can join that Reiki Learning Group Facebook group at facebook.com slash groups slash Reiki Learning Group. I'll drop the link down below, but please do register. Yes, use my affiliate link so that Reiki Rays knows I sent you. <laughs> and definitely, I invite you to tune in to my talk with Heather McCutcheon on day four of the summit. Well, of course, as always, I'm sending so many blessings and best wishes to your Reiki business. Thanks for tuning in to the Build Your Reiki Business podcast. Please like, share, subscribe, and send to a friend. Learn more about the Build Your Reiki Business program at standingstoneshealing.com slash build. Sending blessings and best wishes to your Reiki business.